Hi Year 8 and welcome back to Lesson 2 of Metals and Nonmetals. Last lesson we looked at the structure and properties of metals and nonmetals and I asked you to complete the slot 1 questions for today. I'm now going to show you the answers to the questions. Please pause the video and mark them. Alternatively, the answer sheet is on Show My Homework for you to download. So, here we go with the answers. Today we will follow the same routine as lesson one. If you don't have everything you need, pause the video and do this now. So, retrieval practice slide of one of the day, pause and have a go. And these are the answers. If you want to pause and note down any answers, please do this now. Next retrieval practice slide, pause and have a go. And these are the answers. If you want to pause and note down any answers, please do this now. And last retrieval practice slide of the day, pause and have a go. And these are the answers. If you want to pause and note down any answers, please do this now. We're now going to move on to focus on oxidation. To do this, you will need to access the resources on Show My Homework. If you haven't done so already, pause the video and get yourself organised. Okay, so if like me you're having some printer issues, what you can do is what I've done is just write the questions out on some lined paper and then just keep them all together. So, question one, what is oxidation? A chemical reaction involving an element gaining oxygen. Key things, it's a chemical reaction where you're gaining oxygen. So what is the general word equation for the reaction of metals with oxygen? So you would have your metal plus oxygen, which would then produce a metal oxide. So what does this actually mean? Let's take a couple of examples. First one, let's take copper plus oxygen. So copper being my metal. So this is gonna make a metal oxide. Metal in this case is copper and then oxide. Next example, magnesium plus oxygen. So that's gonna make metal, magnesium, oxide. It's now time for you to embed the knowledge that we've done today. So what you need to do now is pause this video and either with a pen and paper, mini whiteboard or getting someone in the house to test you, make sure that you can answer the two questions below. Pause the video and do that now. So now we've come to the part of the lesson where you need to do some practice. The practice questions are attached to show my homework, but in case you can't access them, they're going to show up on the screen now and you can pause the video, answer the questions on paper and then restart the video when you're ready. Answers will be shared at the start of the next lesson.